Boy, it sure is messy back there, isn't it? There's been a lot of stuff going on in the last couple of months since I made a video. I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of what it is that I'm doing right now. Um, in that time, I've hit over 100 subscribers, so thanks. Appreciate that. That's really cool that there's 100 different people that want to keep up with what it is that I do. I've been really burnt out on LED lighting stuff. So all of those kits are just, they're off to the side, and I'm just putting stuff together and painting it. Um, but as you can tell, there is still space stuff on the desk back there. So let's take a look at what it is. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? Um, we have got, where did I put the instructions at? You might know what this is if you're looking at it and you know your space history, but it is the Atomic City Project Mercury capsule. And uh, of course this is set to depict any of the um, Mercury flights, which were the first Americans to go into space. And I'm pretty far along in the kit, so I thought I would show you guys what I've done to it and details I've added and stuff like that. So I'm going to start off with the hatch here. And uh, I'll, I w I've been torn on how to paint this as far as a color goes. But all I did was just use some Tamiya flat black and then that's just future on it. Give it that little bit of a sheen. And then the inside of the hatch here, I've got some details that I added there like some kind of a emergency escape or something um, this is going to be the, the jet pack that goes on the bottom of the heat shield which I have painted right now I believe it's cured I have the heat shield here ready to go and this just goes on here like that so while it was in orbit this was on the bottom of the ship and then there's these different packs and stuff and it would help orbit it and then this whole thing would jettison before it comes down into the atmosphere so that's painted um, kind of a dark brown I think that's to me a whole red but so um, let me just verify yeah that's the color that I use that one right there kind of a brownish red color <clears throat> The launch tower, this big tall piece here, this this thing is so big when it's put together I can't I can't show the whole thing on camera. Um, and I'm at I got the camera right now on the corner of my desk. But this launch tower here, this is probably the the fiddliest bit uh, to put together. But um, it's got all the rockets and everything that are on there. This has not been painted yet, I've still got seams and things like that to fill. But uh, it just sits on top of the capsule. This little cap right here goes on top as well. It's kind of a protector. And then this whole thing sits up there. You know, let me see if I can do this without dropping my camera off the tripod. And as you can tell, it's pretty good size I think it's a I think it's over two feet long um, once it's complete the one downside to this thing is that it does not have a stand and uh, I'm gonna have to make one which that kind of sucks but it is what it is so I've, I've been painting this and um, Got the little red band going on around there, and there's a white band, I guess, that went here, and there's a section on the top that opens up to uh, that was used to launch various things. Like I know uh, in Faith Seven, this launched some kind of a strobing device. Um, there was different experiments that they ran. I think maybe even on one of them there was a camera there. I don't know. Now, when you build this. This section here, 
this section here are separate. And you can make this so that these pieces come off, or this piece comes off, because um, this piece it would jettison before it comes down into the atmosphere. And Well, I don't know if it did it before it comes down into the atmosphere, but the parachutes are in here. And when you see them, the ones that have actually been in space, all that's left is on display is from here down. Um, so all the windows and stuff are masked off right now. Um, I just decided to glue it together, and then let me just show you what I did kind of to the inside here. Now, let me see if I can position this camera. This is not accurate. I don't claim this to be accurate at all. So, please, if you're a purist, don't freak out. There's just bits and pieces of detail that I added in there. Those are supposed to be like helium tanks or something, but um, most of it you're not going to be able to see anyway. But if you were to peek in, um, you know, the only way you're going to view it is through this hole here and through the small window right here. And then uh, the last piece is this right here, the cockpit area. And it's pretty much done. It just has to go in. Uh, and you can see in there, the colors are close, but they're not dead on. Um, you can see what was done here. This instrument panel comes in clear. And I guess that's if you wanted to light it, you could do that. This is all just stuff I added. It's just wire. It's all that is that I added onto it. A lot of them had a really big loom of wire that went around here and around the back, but I didn't replicate that. And then there's just various bits and pieces of detail that I added in just to give it some, some character there. And then, of course, the astronaut. And uh, he doesn't look completely creepy in there. <laughs> I don't like doing eyes. Not at all. But not bad for pretty much right out of the box, you know. So that guy is, uh, he's ready to go in here. That This this part, this part is done. So I just got to put it in inside here. But I'm going to wait and do the decals first. And then let's see, I think I can put the hatch on. Nope, it's going to mess with the tape. So... But you get kind of an idea how that's going to look. Now, the one that I'm doing is Faith Seven. That was the uh, that was the one with Gordon Cooper. And he was the first American to stay in space more than 24 hours. So I thought that was pretty cool, and I like I just like the way it looks. Um, yeah. Now let me show you what we've got going on with the TIE Fighter. Now the TIE Fighter, I've got this box here that I bought at Michael's and um, this is for making clocks I believe but the, the nice thing about this is that it's pre-built and that it's, it's hollow on the inside. So I've got a hole notched out here for my pole there's a hole down here that you can't see for the switch. And then there's a, a jack hole in the back there with the power supply. And let me put the TIE Fighter on here real quick. And you can kind of see what this is going to look like. Now the wood has not been clear coated yet, but it has been stained. And I'll show you the kind of stain that I use too. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea of how the TIE Fighter is going to look. Um, I may look into getting like a brass plate or something made and put on here. I don't, I don't know yet. I kind of like just the way it looks right there. Pretty easy, simple looking. Will look a lot better once this has a polyurethane coating on it. All right. So once the mercury capsule is done and the Tie Fighter is finished, I'm going to start uh, a new kit. And it's a genre that I really haven't done a whole lot with. And I have wanted to try to do armor for so long 
and I finally broke down and got some armor kits. And I'm going to show you one of the ones that I think we're going to build on YouTube. And this is it right here. This is the uh, Tamiya Walker Bulldog. And I just like the way the tank looks and thought, well, this would be a good one to start with. It wasn't very expensive. Um, I'll show you some of the goodies that I got with it, too. First of all, I got uh, a new metal barrel for it. You can see there. It's in there. So. And I got uh, this set of photo etch from Edward. It's the instructions for the photo etch. And then I got, of course, the kit in here. Haven't even unbagged this thing yet. A couple of tank guys. And a bunch of parts and then some instructions. And then on the bottom here we got tracks that are pre-made. But I decided I wanted to try to build tracks. Looks like this is like a... It's the same thing. Okay, for some reason I have two sets of instructions. Oh, that's because I have two of these. I forgot. I got one for Christmas. And then I, I, but I bought one already, but I, and then I got another one for Christmas. And I thought, no, I'll keep them both. I originally was going to get rid of one, but I decided to keep them both. I actually used that little razor edge here. I used that on my Star Destroyer that I built. I'll show you that in just a second. That was one of the reasons I needed to get extra tracks was because if I was going to build two of these, I was only going to have enough track to do one. So, all right, let's get this out of the way. And, and then I'll show you the other parts that I got, which is this right here. Let's see, from AFV Club, the track links. That is going to do it for today's video. And, uh, oh yeah, this too. That's the finish that I'm using on my bases, this is Minwax wood finish. Nice and easy stuff to put on. Hey everyone. Well, I thought I would let everyone know that I have a Facebook page now called Amateur Modeler. That's facebook.com slash amateur modeler. There will be a link down below if you want to check it out. It's a lot quicker for me to post a picture to Facebook than it is to set up to shoot video edit video, post it to YouTube, tag everything in it, and upload it. I'm not saying that I'm not ever going to do videos again, I'm just saying that because of the very broad interval in which I do videos, um, I've chosen to also start a Facebook page so that I can have photos updated. Like the, the Mercury capsule that you just watched, I've got a lot of pictures of how that looked before it got to the stage that you guys seen it at. The same with the TIE Fighter. Um, and I update that a couple of times a week. I've got, I think, 14 or 15 likes on it right now. And uh, I'd appreciate you going over there and checking it out. Um, if you've got a page and you go like mine and you want to tell me about yours, just send me a little message saying, hey, like the page, would you check mine out, see what you think? And uh, I'll probably... Uh, do the same for you. So, uh, yeah, again, you know, this isn't about making money or anything like that. I don't get money from YouTube or from Facebook or anything like that. It's just, I just like doing this, and um, that's how I choose to showcase what it is that I do. So, all right, so check it out. Give it a like if you like it. If not, move on to something else. See ya.